We'll pull up and then we'll throw it out there. See what we got. Shout out to Dipper Sam. Shout out to Paul Jackson. You guys have been really cool. And uh, looking forward to talking to y'all more. Paul's up there in Canada. Paul's up there in Canada. Really good guy. I talked to him the other night for a while. Dipper Sam. We had a little... We've talked a couple times the last couple days. Uh, I want to give what? I know. I want to give a shout out to Meadows the Magnets. My boy Tony over in the UK. Keep doing what you're doing, bud. I'll keep doing what I can for you over here. Of course, I want to give a shout out to Tom Sawyer TV, Jeff over there. Awesome guy. Really, really good guy. Uh, me and him's got a fishing trip planned here in about, well, about two weeks from today, I think. I may be wrong a couple days. But coming up the first week of October. So y'all keep be on the lookout for a collaboration video between us. Well, one or two videos. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, he's going he's gonna, to, he's taking the time out to come down here with me. And he's going to trust me to show him a few spots. So hopefully it all pans out. And he's going to, he's going to share a few things that he knows with me. So. It's, uh, good things are coming for both of us, hopefully. So, y'all just be on the lookout for Tom Sawyer TV and a Middle Fish TV collaboration sometime in the middle of uh, October. Really excited about a few things we got planned for the future of this channel, and I hope y'all hope y'all come back and take the time to check it out with me. That's what it's all about. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I Middle Fish for me. But I make metal fishing videos for y'all. Betty's here with me as always. She's on the other side. She's on the other side of the creek. Getting her stuff ready. We'll say hello to her here in just a little bit. I'm still trying. I, I, I have not yet got one comment about helping me uh, about her getting a new nickname. I need y'all to drop the comment in section. What's Betty's new nick? What could Betty's new nickname be? Limbrim Betty. Bass catching Betty, bluegill Betty. That's one of her personal favorites. But y'all just anything y'all can think of. Y'all just y'all let us know. Just keep it clean, guys. She's a respectable woman, a good woman. And uh, I mean, I got a sense of humor. It can be funny, but let's just keep it clean. Betty's over there saying she's got a good feeling she's gonna catch something. So hopefully we'll be showing off her catch here in a minute. You got it, babe. I tried to make sure this time that my memory, I don't look down at my camera and, it, and it, I noticed that it ain't been recording because the memory's full. I'm hoping I got, I cleared off enough. So, and y'all, uh, again, just go on there on the comment section and let me know what y'all want to see more of or let me know what y'all want to see less of. If y'all would like to hear more music or something is, instead of me, <laughs> let me know. I won't be offended. I, I talk and talk, but you know, sometimes I'm just, uh, there's an, I'm, I might be repetitive or I might be talking about something boring. I don't know. I'm not very good. So, I'm not very good at the social stuff. And, uh, but I'm trying, I'm working on it. Last thing I want to try to do is be bored and one minute into the video and then turn around and click on to the next one. I'm trying to make videos that y'all want to start from first to from the first to the finish uh y'all would y'all like to have more five minute videos or more 20 minute videos let me know all your input is much appreciated every one of you guys trust me i appreciate every one of y'all the time y'all take and everything i know i know what it i know what it takes to be able to you know it, it takes an interesting video to catch somebody's attention these days for you know just a couple minutes because there's so much out there to choose from well i'm somehow trying to you know i want to i want to stay relevant for as long as i can so y'all help me out and i if, and if there's anything i can do for y'all ask me a question i'll try my best i've been i've only been magnet fishing for about six months now but i promise you i've learned a lot in that six months have I learned it all? 
nowhere close but I I, I, I can help <laughs> I think out of this summer since I've started I haven't missed two days consecutive until except for about a week and a, or two weeks ago when I lost all my magnets <laughs> I went from four magnets to, to zero and after about 24 hours of sitting in the house I started I call it withdrawals I started going through magnet fishing withdrawals and I, I had to get out and do something so I went out to the swamp and well I made a video called uh, the, it's, 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 it's on there I go swimming I think it says swimming I, I forgot what it's I forgot the exact title but you can see it all Do what now? Okay. Watch out for snakes, Betty. Betty's went and got her boots. She's not fishing off the bridge right now. She's walking down, so it's going to have me nervous. My attention's going to be thinking about if she's okay. What, baby? Well, I believe it's safe, but you don't know we're out here in the country by herself. She don't, she's, she sometimes is don't really consider the dangers that go into everything I told her I mean the world the world is a dangerous place on its own and it's hard enough to just survive by following every, doing everything right much less you know you, you gotta keep your head up you gotta you gotta keep your head in the game be expecting the unexpected well so far I've had about five six pulls and I hadn't pulled up nothing so this perfect spot may be, it may be a big mirage. We're gonna give it a few more chances. I've got a couple more places lined up that if, if this don't work out. The, the days are getting shorter, so I mean, it's, it's kind of making it, you know, by the time we get out here, it feels like we're in a rush before you know it, sun's down, so. But luckily I've, I've, I've planned it where if this don't work out I got another spot about a mile down the road we can jump to and if that don't pan out then we can jump to a bridge not far away that that I've magnet fished at before so we'll see this spot just looks perfect I mean it looks beautiful if anything Betty should be catching fish shit here there may not be metal in it it may, it may be too perfect too pretty for metal but I promise you there's got to be fishing here I keep getting something right there I just can't get it off the ground. I miss my, I miss my 1,300 pound single side so bad. It's a Quest magnet, 1,333 pounds, and best magnet I've ever used. This is my Brute 1,200, but this is giving up a lot of pull pressure. I'm losing 700 pounds of pull pressure from that 1,300, and I'm, I'm, I'm fixing to reorder me one. I can't. I gotta have it. That 1,333 pound Quest uh, magnet is a beast, y'all. It does the job. I mean, I, I love it. I, I, whether I'm pulling from the bridges or pulling from the side, it, it, it won't let you down, I promise you. Everybody supports Brute. I support Brute. I got one on my rope right now, but I'm sorry, but Quest doesn't get near the attention it should. Because that, that, I'd buy... I'll vouch for them any day. Dang good magnet. I want to thank everybody that's added me the last couple of days and took time, once again, just took time out to watch my videos. Yeah, I don't know how good it makes me feel. If y'all only knew, sorry for the traffic, if y'all only knew, how much I really cared about this and how how getting some recognition would be just be awesome you know I in my life I have not made the best of decisions you know a bunch of the time a lot of the time and luckily I'm still I'm still here to talk about it and luckily I got me a wife here that put, that's very supportive and uh, it just keeps me going. But I'd like to see that all this ain't for exactly nothing. I love it when I get a good comment from you guys or a thumbs up or a, 
or a great video comment just anything it just makes me feel good i don't need the whole world i just i just want my little share it ain't about money it ain't about none of that it's about just thinking i did something that somebody was appreciates what i did so y'all just help me out <laughs> let me know that i'm not wasting my time like i said let me know what i'm doing wrong let me know what y'all want to see more of let me know if i'm talking too fast or if i'm just whatever or if i'm not speaking clearly enough i understand that i understand that people have hang on i understand there's so many different accents around the world there's so many different things and and i'm trying my best to speak clearly and all that but sometimes i just forget i just talk i mean i've got i've naturally got a a fast-paced voice my, my brain is just thinking 90 mile an hour always I got my metabolism through the roof I've got I've got what's called uh, Graves disease and a high, which is a hyperthyroid and that's like I got they say my thyroid levels are is equal to that of like eight men so so my wheels are always turning Sometimes I, I I just need to slow it down. So if y'all if y'all think so, let me know. If I'm annoying y'all, let me know that I, that I should put music there instead, and I'll have some, and <laughs> give me a playlist. Oh, I think I got something good right here. It's either a stick or something metal. Let's see. Oh, let's see what we got. Lord, what is that? Oh, big piece of pop or something. Golly, it's spitting oil everywhere. Betty. Oh, this thing is spitting oil or muddy water or something. Is that a piece of a gate or something? I have no idea. This sucker's heavy. I know that. Betty, where you at? Do you see it? It started leaking oil out of the holes or unless it's just really dirty water. It needs to come out of the water, that's for sure. Check that out, guys. Oh, I think it's just mud. We lay it down here. Give y'all a look at it. A piece of a fence or something, or maybe a pipe. I don't know. Hmm. Let's see if we get the rest of it. So much. This sucker was sure was nasty. Heavy. Need to be out of the water. Too big for the bucket. That's for sure. Let's lock on to something else. You what, baby? You got one? Oh, Betty got her fish. Come over here and show me. Show the camera. Betty. All right, we're both. Hey, we both got us something. That makes it all worth it. The hardest thing in the world is, uh, the hardest decision I've got each day is finding a spot to go fishing that I'm going to have good luck and a good video. And Betty's also go, gonna be able to catch her fish. Cause if, you know, nobody wants to have one or the other. Usually it turns out where I have to settle for a fishing hole for her, or she has to settle for a, a metal hole for me. When we can find that perfect balance, hey, then we can't, then, I, then I'm a happy man. You bring it over here? Just let me get in a video real quick. Here goes a bat. What is it? Let's see here. Looks like a bluegill to me. That's what it looks like. Show it up, Betty. Yeah. <laughs> Say hello to everybody. Hello, Look up. Say hi. <laughs> tell, me, tell me you need that nickname. Yeah, I need a nickname. I'm pretty, please nothing like Black Betty or nothing. She don't want Ram Lamb to go Black Betty. She hears that enough. <laughs> My brother used to call me Betty Butkus. Betty Butkus? Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> well, that's your brother. I call your brother a lot more things. Oh, careful. Don't kill it. <laughs> you keeping it? Yeah, keep it. What are you going to keep it for, Raymond? Raymond. Alright. Just make sure it's alive. Use that bottom bucket. No, there's one right there. There's one right there, baby. <laughs> Huh? You tie a rope onto the handle or something, lower it into the water and get get some water in it. 
Well, you need to do that first before you take the fish in there. Or use another bucket to get the water, I guess. That's pretty cool, baby. I'm happy for you. I was telling the hardest part of the day decision is finding a spot that both of us can do our thing at. So usually we got to set up for one or the other. I'll just get some water in a bucket and I'll get it out for you. Huh? You got that gort dislodger or whatever? That's why you bought You stick it down in there. You grab the hold of the, the hook or the line. Careful now, walking down there, look out for snakes. Wouldn't be coiled up there. Huh? I don't see anything right now, no. Did you just lose the fish? I did see something, what was that? Just get your water, hurry. Ain't you pretty folks? I, I think she's about 90% blind because have you seen me <laughs> do what? Yeah, I thought I did. Well, you got to read it. Oh, I got that mosquito spray in my nose and in my eyes. <coughs> Good job, baby. Prettiest thing. I get to wake up next to that every morning. And I ain't talking about the fish. Like I said, if y'all seen me, uh, y'all agree with her. Y'all think she was blind too. I do a real good job of breaking all the mirrors in the house and hiding them from her. Just in case she wakes up and accidentally sees how pretty she is. I don't want her running off or anything. You did good, baby. Y'all leave a comment tell Betty how, what a good job she did. That's a good fish. Give her a nickname, guys. Might have a little surprise for whoever whoever gets the winning nickname. We might have a little surprise in, st in store for you. Nope, nope. Bluegill Betty's already taken. I mean, we can, we can keep it Bluegill Betty if everybody thinks you should be Bluegill Betty. When, you, probably 95% of the fish she catches are Bluegill. <laughs> y'all just uh, y'all drop her comment, make her feel good. Yeah. Come on, we need to catch some fish here. Or we need to catch some metal fish. You're going over to my channel, Metal Fish TV. Hit the subscribe button. Share it with your friends. What, baby? <laughs> if I don't get in some more, if I don't get some more metal really quick, we're about to down the road. I said it better do it pretty quick. Cause the daylight's running. Over. I know it's a beautiful fishing spot. It looks like a perfect fishing spot. We'll switch sides in a minute. Just ain't got enough daylight to be, be messing around. These cars are flying through here. Like I said, this is a brand new spot and location, and these people, everybody's giving me that, uh, what the heck this, is this guy up to look? So, probably be police rolling up here in a minute. Because usually when I get them looks, the police start showing up right after that. Thinking I'm going to jump off a bridge, or I'm out here trying to blow it up, or something. Something crazy. Or that I'm out here deliberately trying to fish up something that I know is here. Which, I never have no first-hand accounts. What the heck was that down there? Something just ran across the road down there. What was it? What, baby? Hang on. What do you say? Oh, yeah. Said her fish is too big for the bucket she's got. It'll be alright till we get home. Cool. Got her tadpole. Cool. 
Use it for bait. Oh, little, little one. Baby frog. Good job. She gets excited about some tiny things, but heck. I'd much rather her be happy than not happy. Happy wife, happy life, right? My dad taught me that a long time ago. Come on, let's get something right here. Let's get something. I know there's something. There's got to be something out here. This has been a good rope I've had about a week, but it's showing some serious signs of unraveling or something. I'm going to be switching that soon. I got it because of the breaking point. It's got it's got a pretty high breaking point on it. So, But not, too, not, a, not a scary breaking point where you don't even know... How, how much pressure it's gonna take. You know, that's scary. If you don't know when your line's gonna break, you get so much pressure on there, next thing you know it snaps and shoots back at you or, or someone. You know, some you know this stuff will cut you in half. And I do not we don't need that happen. If I ever accidentally hurt Betty or something doing something stupid like that, it, I, I could never forgive myself from her grandkids or just anybody. My truck, my truck's been broke down for the last couple days, and I've had to borrow, I had to borrow a vehicle from my dad, and uh, it's got all my supplies in it. That's why I'm wearing these rubber gloves right now, and I'm having to make do. It's got everything in my, in my truck. I just, didn't, I just didn't grab it out. I didn't think I'd be in this truck for for as long as I've been. I figured it'd be back that same day, but it's taking a little, taking a couple days to fix my truck. So I'm having to make do with surgical gloves. Oh, I can't wait for my magnets to come in. I'm trying to think of some more shout outs. I want to shout out to the Patriots, the Mag and the Magneteers, Dipper Dan. Uh, also to the the Texas Magnet Club, the the Tennis or the yeah, Tennessee, Indiana, Cambria, Australia. Ireland, Scotland, Canada, uh, all the magnet clubs that, are, that, are, that have welcomed me. All you guys, you know, much appreciated. I try not to forget anybody. I mean, there's so many on uh, Magnet Fish in UK, uh, just the Magnet Fishing Club. Uh, everyone, you guys, that allowed me to post stuff on y'all's websites and put up with me and converse with me and talk to me over different things. You guys are so polite, you know, y'all just keep it all up. Uh, Magneto, Paul Swanson Magneto and Magneto. She's a cool, cool, cool chick. Uh, like I said, Paul Swanson, good guy. We talked a few times. Uh, Sam, uh, uh, name escapes me real quick. Really good guy up there in Washington. Uh, uh, Mark Hirsch, I believe he's in, uh, I want to say, I want to say Minnesota. I want to say that's where he's at. Good guy. Con. Con up there in a well, y'all know he's the he, he's he's all he's the ambassador of brute, uh, brute mag, magnets up there in Canada. You know he he he's always a, he's always got info for everybody. Good good useful information. Super nice guy. And let me try to remember his name of his side. Uh, I think it's I think it's magnet fishing finds or. Uh, Sorry if I got it wrong there, Colin. I'm trying to pull all this out of my brain. Doing the best I can. Like I said, Paul Jack, Paul, Paul Jackson. Uh, there's just so many guys that I, I enjoy talking to, love talking to. My Arkansas Magnet Fishing Club. Hello, how are y'all? Uh, maybe one of these days we can meet up, have a little fun. Any of y'all, just drop drop a me drop me a message. Tubs from over in the UK, what's up? Uh, I'm just I'm trying to think of everybody.
there's a couple of names I just I have I would have a hard time pronouncing and I don't want to mess them up. Uh Big Dave. What's up guy? What's that, Big Dave Pierce? Brad. What's going on man? Yeah, we switch sides because if if it don't get that I'm going I'm going down the road. We're gonna jump. Betty's ready to switch sides. We're gonna do that real quick. We probably got about maybe 45 minutes, maybe a day left. Like yeah. Well, I'm coming. Slowly but surely. Tony McKenzie. I believe I, I don't. I think I said your name, but I'm not sure. Metals to magnets. Another super good guy, been real polite, real, real, real cool with me. You know, we talk. Me and him talked a, a number of times. Really good guy. If y'all don't know any of these people I'm talking about, you know, head over to their channels, check them out. Y'all may like them a whole lot more than you like me. I don't know. Raven, Raven over there in the UK, the Brummies, I'm just, I'm just trying to give it, I want to make sure everybody that I, can, that I can think of gets included, this, that has gave me time to, there's a couple of people that I've never been able to get, that I've, I've reached out to, and I don't know if they just uh, haven't had time, or if just, maybe the YouTube things have gone to their head, I don't really know. But that's one thing, just no matter what through it all. If somehow I manage to be the biggest, uh, you know, this is just this is just talk. If I let's just say I manage to be the biggest guy on YouTube, I promise you, if you wanted to talk, I would not you would not know the difference between that guy and the man I am today. I would never ever forget how I got to where I'm trying to how I how I got where I get how I got there. I will never forget that. You know, and I may be totally wrong. That's why I'm not going to name any names. It ain't my, it ain't my place. I can't for, get mad at nobody for not talking to me or messaging me. Somebody they don't know. <laughs> but these, a couple of these guys, you know, a couple of the guys I'm talking about are, are you know, some of the, ma the main reasons that I, I that got me magnet fishing. They're videos. So, you know, I mean, it'd be real cool if they, to me, it would be real cool if they just took a minute and wrote back or liked one of my videos or anything. But I'm not going to lose any sleep without it, so. So no offense, guys. Just being real. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, none of us, none of us or none of the guys I've named or anybody or any different or any better than the next. We all got one common goal we love doing, and that's what it's all about. If you choose to ignore the people that got you there, well, sooner or later you're going to lose. You're going to lose what you got. And you'll be wishing you would have said hello. Took one second out to make a comment. We're all grown people here. Ain't these ain't the magnet fishing community some of the nicest people you know? Huh? Except for one of them, she says. <laughs> we must be talking about the same one or two. I said I'm not naming any names. I'll just put it this way: they're not from the they're not for, down here in the south. <laughs> They do have lots of followers, lots of subscribers, and they actually seem like two really good guys, and I'm sure they are. It'd be cool to hear from y'all if you know who y'all are. <laughs> but back to the real subject. 
back to our fishing. Let's get some finds going. Our buckets, our buckets empty except for we got a piece of fencing or something. Betty's Betty's got a fish. I've got a couple things. I just ain't they don't fit the bucket. We're shooting down the road, Betty. If uh, here in about ten minutes, if it, hear me. Look out for bluegill Betty's uh, bluegills. <laughs> Her fishing channel, her, her uh, cooking cooking channel. You hear me though? We're shooting down the road really quick. If there ain't nothing on here, so because we're running out of daylight, baby. I mean, we're running out. <laughs> we ain't going but a mile down the road though. You're fine. I'm just letting you know that the daytime is ticking, huh? What, baby? I can't hear you. Get over and fish. <laughs> over there looks like the perfect pl place to fish would be, so you should be able to take pull up two or three quick. Don't worry about taking all that stuff yet. Okay. Okay. I was trying to help you. Yeah, it was a nice little spot down there, wasn't it? I can walk over there too. I'm, I'm farther out. Like on the other side of the pole. On the other side of the pole there. I should have brought my waders. I hope I don't need them knocking on, knock on wood. Yeah, it's a really, really well kept area. I wish they did this back where we around our spot, around most of our spots.